As cocky Obama goes into showbiz with Netflix, Roseanne easily humiliates him. Liberals have another reason to freak out after Roseanne Barr dropped a nasty truth bomb on former President Barack Obama's shady Netflix deal. You won't want to miss this as Obama is left humiliated by a much more successful celebrity than he'll ever be. Actress and comedian Roseanne Barr from the hit TV show Roseanne has already pissed off the liberal world a few times with her unapologetic support for President Donald Trump. Now, she's taking it up a notch and slamming Obama after his recent shady Netflix deal was announced. For anyone who wonders if the Obama family belongs in showbiz, Roseanne tells it like it is. According to Daily Caller, Roseanne didn't pull any punches in a tweet on Sunday, May 27, 2018, when she let the world know that Obama doesn't belong in show business, and for good reason. This is likely one of the most brutally honest things that the comedian has expressed in regard to our corrupt former president. I don't think any president should go from WH to producing big media for public consumption. It's an unholy alliance. Leave showbiz to professionals although I do think going from showbiz to WH is okay I might do it one day, then retire from both, Roseanne wrote on Twitter. Roseanne is absolutely right. The Obamas aren't going into showbiz for entertainment purposes. They are simply dragging their horrific political ideology into the big media production world to continue peddling their progressive agenda. Interestingly, Roseanne has run for president twice and I wouldn't rule out another attempt after seeing her tweet on Sunday. Unlike many others in her industry, Roseanne isn't afraid of the mainstream media and would likely have a very popular campaign message if she ran again. The actress' brutal and honest tweet comes on the heels of a recent announcement from Netflix that it is going to partner with the Obamas to create original content for the streaming service. The deal was reportedly brokered by a former Obama presidential campaign fundraiser who also worked in his administration. According to Breitbart, Bart, Ted Sarandos and his wife gathered up nearly $600,000 from various liberals and sent the large contribution to Obama during his presidential campaign. Sarandos is reportedly the man who is responsible for securing a $50 million deal with Netflix. Not surprisingly, Sarandos served as the U.S. ambassador to the Bahamas between 2009 and 2011 for the Obama administration. This whole thing reeks of Obama-style corruption, and Roseanne was right to call him out on it. Unholy alliance is the perfect way to describe the deal, but in the end, I have no doubt that a free market will snuff out the attempt by Obama and Netflix to create content that fuels the liberal agenda. The reality here is that many Americans realize how much damage Obama did to our country, and with the emergence of Spygate involving Obama's FBI, things are likely to get very interesting in the near future for the former president. As for Roseanne, this isn't the first time she's upset the left. Notably, Roseanne pissed off Obama-loving liberals during an interview on NBC's The Tonight Show with host Jimmy Fallon, where she commented on the grief people give her for being a Trump supporter. Speaking about her success with the relaunch of the show Roseanne, Fallon took the opportunity to address the elephant in the room, but, then, also with a big hit come people that aren't so happy as well, if you say that you are a supporter of Donald Trump, Fallon said. Roseanne caught Fallon off guard with her answer as she acknowledged, oh, yeah, people are mad about that. But, she had a brutal response that consisted of five harsh words for Trump haters. But, you know, I don't give a FCK, Roseanne exclaimed with a shrug, according to Daily Caller. And, the look on her face probably left Jimmy Fallon peeing his pants. Few Hollywood personalities have tread on the political ground that Roseanne considers her usual domain. Her unapologetic approach is a breath of fresh air considering the toxic filth and progressive craziness that has crippled much of what used to be the entertainment industry. industry.